This is going to be pretty grim, this conversation. I want to warn you now. We're going to talk about the footballer Mason Greenwood and his mooted return to Manchester United. This is a much more complicated issue than you realise, you know, because I think the most complicated issues are the ones that people who are diametrically opposed to each other think are simple. See, for me, this is quite simple. But I know for an awful lot of people, there will be a desperation to believe that it isn't. And in fact, that even that's probably not fair because I'm accusing you of insincerity. If I were a Manchester United fan and Mason Greenwood made his way back into the team, I would never watch that football team again. If you don't know who or what I'm talking about, I need to give you a trigger warning. I need to warn you that we are about to describe an audio recording of a man abusing a woman and attempting to coerce her into sex. Okay. It is now more than 18 months since the harrowing audio emerged of a man alleged at the time to be Greenwood abusing a woman and attempting to coerce her into sex. The woman also posted pictures of her bleeding face and bruised body, suggesting that Greenwood had inflicted her injuries. Criminal charges against Greenwood were dropped after key witnesses, and I quote, withdrew their cooperation from the investigation. Those quotes are from the CPS, the Crown Prosecution Service. But the audio is still available. Indeed, Nick read it out this morning. You can go and listen to it whenever you want. You can draw from that audio whatever conclusion that you want. My opinion is that Manchester United should not allow him back into the team. I don't know whether you're going to try to sway me by suggesting that if he demonstrated profound remorse or became uh, a, a poster boy for transformative therapy, that the picture would change. I'm going to invite you to... Um, I'm, in fact, quite a few of you are suggesting I need to read out the audio of what was actually on the tape as well, which, which I, I'll take your guidance on that, and I will do, because that's how this program works. I... I can only say this. I can only say that were I a Manchester United fan and Mason Greenwood came back into the side, I would never, ever give them a penny of my money again. And you cannot be a responsible part of a society without objecting in the strongest terms to the idea that this man should return to Manchester United. But... Imagine somebody who is listening to this or reading this today in the newspaper and across the detail thinking to themselves, how can this even, how can anyone be both siding this? I, 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 I don't know. Are you going to go for innocent not until proven? Get, I, don't, I just don't know. But how can this be? A conversation. That's what I want you to do. I want you to tell the person. I don't think we're going to argue. I, I'm more interested in canvassing contributions. You you need to explain to someone who cannot believe that, that, that anybody anywhere is proposing the notion that there are two sides to this argument, why this conversation even exists. I, I, if, if I were a Manchester United fan and Mason Greenwood went back into the team, that would be it for me. I would be tearing up my season ticket and sticking my scarf in the bin. How can you possibly hold a different opinion? I'm also a father of two daughters, three, got three sisters, so it's a tough one. But the angle I'm coming at, from, at this is more of, is it, is it a problem that he's playing for Man United? Is that the problem? No, I think it would be a problem if he played for anybody. But at the at the moment, the decision is Manchester United's because he's under contract for another two years. OK, and obviously it's a girl that is, he was with from school. He made a huge mistake. So should his future employment at, be completely terminated for a mistake he made at 18 that he wasn't charged for? Yeah, I think I mean, he, was charged. Right he was charged. He was charged, but he wasn't convicted, and that's a crucial yeah, that's a crucial point that you make. I haven't heard one person come online to say, you know what, he's AE. Maybe we need to help him or do this. No, Nothing. but to, to be fair, this is this, this is the determination uh, for this kid. Sean, sure, you're the second caller, and you're making precisely the point you're saying that no one else has made. So it's now fifty-fifty level of vitriol against this guy. 
when people make mistakes in a given second chance it's not in really, public it's life not every, really, every day. It's not really a mistake, is it? As, as the last caller said, a mistake is accidentally leaving your keys in the front door. Yeah, but we don't know their sexual relate. This is this is what I mean. There's a lot in this story that hasn't. Like, I, I, we don't know their sexual relate. This is his girl from from school. Yeah. Yes. He, yes. It is, it's abhorrent what he done, and he's. This is a huge learning curve for him. But it shows that he's actually now gone on and had a child with the same girl. I don't so know. I don't. I, something. Well, n- no. It tells me nothing, of course, because victims of domestic abuse very, very often don't don't leave the scenario. He was 18, he made a mistake. He's been punished severely for that mistake. Well, he's on been on 75 grand a week throughout, I think, hasn't he? Yeah, but that's that's to do with his talent. That's so what's the, the punishment? What is the the punishment? On 70, so if he was on eight pound a week, would that be all right then? No, I'm just talking about punishment. And if, if there was a, a case to answer at court, there would have been. That's no, my whole point. Not without witnesses, Sean. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. How many things of people about witnesses? That's what if the witness wants to go forward, that's bound to the witness. Yeah, and they didn't. So why why is everyone well, you've else? Already, you've already answered. You've already jury. answered that why question. Why everyone else become judges and jury? That it's, not, it's not judges and jury. No one's suggesting that he needs to be imprisoned. Or, or, yeah, but or, you're suggesting that he shouldn't work. Yeah, because you're seeing it from the wrong end of the telescope. Why shouldn't he work again? Why? I don't get You're that. You're seeing it from the wrong end of the telescope. Manchester United should not... Oh, so co- it is Manchester United. Or, that's or, my point. Or, yeah. or, 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 or Rovers or, or whatever club you want oh, to talk that's about. I mean. So you're saying that he should stop work because he's a footballer. So he'd have to play no, for someone. I'm saying that no organisation, even if he wanted to go and work for rent kill should be associating themselves with, with somebody who's done what he's done. So he should stop work. He should stop his profession. That's what you mean. Yeah, yeah good, God, yes. I, yeah, I, I sorry, I thought that was fair. clear. Okay. How can he stop work at 19? I don't get that. All right, well, what if he was 30? Does it, like, as I say... What if he was that, 42? To me, that's a big difference. That's a okay, big difference. Okay, so it's his age. Somebody doing something at 18, if you're telling them that you want them to never have a job again... Is a bit to but be you, when, when when you say someone, you're, you're again, you're kind of evading the the central point that this is a man who has done what he did. This isn't this isn't just someone. This is someone who was recorded abusing a woman and attempting to coerce her into sex. A woman who was allegedly um, subsequently posted pictures of her bleeding face and bruised body. So. I mean, would it be We're fair to would it be fair that. to what ask me? That? I don't know how old your children are. Would it be fair You're to ask me wrong from my point. how you I'm explain? How do you no explain way. to your daughter why he should be back on the yeah, team? Yeah, yeah. What I would explain to my daughter is yeah, go on. He's made a huge mistake. Look at what this idiot's done. Right. He's, he's been given a god blessed talent. So what's the punishment? Oh, he's been, he's not paid for nearly two years. No, moving forward, what's the punishment? He's not played for nearly two years. Yeah, that, that's moving backwards. He's got, if he's back in the team tomorrow, moving forward, what's the punishment? What's the penalty? Well, what, penalty for what? He hasn't been charged with anything. But you just said yourself, he's done a disgusting thing. Yeah, he's done a disgusting thing. So what's the punishment? disgusting things every day. So don't what, yeah, well, we, don't, we, don't want, we don't want to encourage them, Sean. Don't stop work. All right, really? Okay. So, so no punishment at all? Donald Trump's just been... Get found guilty. I would be I'd, be. I'd be supremely. Com- I'd be supremely comfortable to see him prevented from ever working again. Sean, it's possibly you could have picked a better example. I don't. I don't fully understand the point that you're making. Where we differ is that I think this sort of conduct should be career-ending, and you don't. He's a mug. He's a complete mug. Yeah, but that's that, just want to just want to part on on agreeing to disagree. I think this conduct should be career-ending, and you don't. No, I don't. That's no. it. Okay, you said it. That's good. Oh, hi there, James. Um, so uh, I, I think that the feeling of injustice relates more to a system failure. Uh, so we see the video and hear the audio, and I think that that viscerally connects with us, and we we immediately believe it wholeheartedly. But, but the way that the, the, the system works is that someone makes a claim, and then that's tested by, by the criminal justice system. And in this case, for whatever reason, the, the poor woman wasn't actually able to go through with that process. So wh- whether that was because she didn't feel strong enough, supported enough, whether it was the sort of hideously low conviction rates, whatever it was, that, that, that process of testing 
whatever defence Mason and, and Greenwood came up with. I, I think you're. I mean, the the if if the allegation were were confined to paper, then I I, I, I think it would be impossible to argue with you. But people are responding to the the recording, aren't they? People are responding to the evidence that has been put before a court, if you like, a metaphorical court in which they sit. And so really, Mason Greenwood's defence would be directed at that evidence, and it hasn't been anywhere. So here's the recording of you saying these things and the pictures of your girlfriend like this. What are you going to say? I mean, so this is my point. So emotionally, no, this is, this I is my be... question. This is you now. It's you I've got on tape, and it's it's what, your what girlfriend. Would I what, say yeah, what are you going to say? It's in the public. It's in the public arena. Every, everyone's seen it. What are you going to say? So if that were me, then it it wouldn't have happened in the first place. That's not the it, point, is it? We know that it did happen. So you can't you can't say that. We've but, got the tape, James, and we've got so the pictures. Think, so how are you going to defend I, it? I think that that's that's in that's in exactly what the point in what circum in what circumstances would you not defend yourself? In the circumstances that he's advised, so James, I think the, so. You know, when you say, I'm going to ask that question again because we're going to run out of time. In what so, if that was you, pictures of your girlfriend, recording of you, yeah. in what circumstances would you not defend yourself? When I was told that that might compromise my later ability to win at trial, however no. justified my. So, my no, you're not a footballer. You're Jamie and Wandsworth. In what circumstances would you not defend yourself? But. But I, I do, I would defend myself in the sense I'd plead not yeah, But guilty. in what circumstances wouldn't you defend yourself? It's not going to court. But, it's there. The tape is there. You've got to address it. You've got to talk about it. I can think of one circumstance in which you wouldn't talk about it. And so can you. You just won't say it out loud. I mean, so you want me to say because he's guilty? No, no, I want you to answer the question honestly about you, not him. There's a tape of you doing that to your girlfriend. There's pictures of her covered in bruises. In what circumstances would you leave that in the public domain Utterly unchallenged. Uh, none, because even if I did it... But, but, but it has I been utterly unchallenged. Response. So in what circumstances could that happen in but, your but mind if you, it was you? you? When you describe his sort of actions, you have to say alleged because it's not proven. And as long no, as but you... I'm not, that's why I'm not talking alleged. about him. I'm talking about you. There it is. The pictures of your girlfriend, the recording of you saying those things, and you are leaving it completely unchallenged in the public space. How could that possibly happen? How could you possibly do that? I, I, I mean, I, I simply, I, I simply don't know. I couldn't. No, I do. I couldn't. You should face the consequences if it was a different crime in a different place. An eighteen-year-old doesn't make a silly mistake and not pay for it just because they're a footballer, just because they're eighteen. Mm. I mean, I, 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 mean I, I guess in a sense we have to acknowledge or accommodate the fact that there is no conviction here. That the the, the, the the facts as as we think we know them are based entirely upon this harrowing audio and the, and the photographs of the bleeding sometimes sometimes moral morals come above everything else yeah, we all know it, it was him he knows it was him man you know it was him. But it's certainly very I'm much strongly blame... alleged it was him but, but I don't, yeah I don't well i'm know. well he wouldn't have been uh, sitting on 75 grand a week at home if they were unsure would he i don't know he I, don't, I, don't, I mean if they, were, if they were completely unsure or not he's denied it would he be sitting at home for 18 I have, months? I haven't seen any a, a, attempted denial, but obviously... The, no, but, when that I, but in the absence... Well, yeah, it? I know, but just, just for broadcasting regulations and the law of the land, or the, be it that I agree with you, morals must transcend on occasion. The, 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 without yeah. a conviction, this is all alleged behavior but no i've seen neither okay. i've seen neither remorse nor denial and therefore we're yeah, all yeah, we're all working on the we're all working on the presumption yeah. that it happened w w why should his entire life be uh, uh punishment if you like is it so well his entire life isn't punished it's not being punished his entire life is not punished playing at the top level may have been punished mm. and that's unfortunately for him that's the way he chose to play his cards Yes. I've got a 15-year-old man, you crazy footballer. How do I explain to him and raise him knowing that he can get away with that because of his status, because of the cost, because of his age? No. So I've got my, um, my head in my hands with this one. So I'm a teacher of 15 years, of and my prediction would be that Mason Greenwood will play for Manchester United again. Mm. And that is going to add to the problems that we have with young people who see people like Andrew Tate as um, a role model or certainly idolise some of the things that he says. Yes. And 
if Mason Greenwood is allowed to get away with this and, and resume his career, which I feel he, feel he probably will, yes. despite the, the, the audio, or not the audio, that you, you read out earlier, mm-hmm. this is just going to add to the, the problems that we have with our young people. We made such progress with them, you know, in terms of sexual harassment and all, of, all this sort of awareness that banter is a banter, et cetera, et cetera. And this is going to set us back again, and it's becoming it is becoming a huge problem, not just in this area, but you know, with the language towards yeah. immigration and all that. And I'm not talking about immigration, but the language, all of that wrapped up, is a huge becoming a far more of an issue in schools. Children are empty vessels, and they're influenced by their parents. They're influenced oh, by their role models. Yeah. They're hugely influenced by social media. I'm so pleased that the school was closed when um, the vice chairman of the Conservative Party said what he said about immigrants, because no doubt I would be fielding those sort of comments in school Gosh. from children to other. 100% that would be happening. Yeah. And the reason that I feel Mason Green will get away with this is because these types, certainly in the last few years, these types of behaviours have been uh, allowed, maybe emboldened is the right word, but it has become sort of OK. I mean, yeah, normalised. About what Trump, what Trump has said, normalised, yeah. that's a brilliant word, yeah. If you think about what Trump said before the election about how he has treated women, yeah. you know, just just it feels like the country's moral compass has gone completely haywire. If it and, ever if it ever had one, maybe we were just well, paying lip service to moral compasses and, and and pretending that we cared about these things while privately scoffing or behaving abominably. I don't know. I mean, maybe we're the naive ones, and and everybody else is finally you know saying saying out loud what what everybody's been secretly thinking. I don't think so personally. I think that decency eventually can become a selfish pursuit. You want to live in a decent society so that people can't treat you indecently. I feel, James, that yeah. young people are a reflection of the society in which they live, yes. and that is why I'm saying these things are getting a lot worse. It was all it has all been about education or re-education, should I say, mm. and and realising, you know, what banter is, you know, or, or that they shouldn't. But be do able you to do you things. do you succeed in pushing back? Is what I'm asking, really. Do you? I mean, are there things you do that help boys? Yeah, I, step? I would say we had we Good. had been making a significant amount of progress. This this type of thing, you know, will set us back. I remember a, um, a, an incident where I had some young girls in my year group they were 13 14 and they were complaining that um builders were wolf whistling to them yeah. now, i couldn't even believe that this and they were just so are we just men are, and i was like oh, obviously not you know we can't accept that <laughs> yeah. but it didn't even do you know what i mean we had we had made such such progress and i'm just got my head in my hands because people you know he will be allowed to play again and the, the the way that the country is going in in, in the, the moral compass, as I've, I've said before, and it's not just this Mason Greenwood. It's it's the way our politicians behave. It's the language that is used. All of this is reflected in in our young people from their parents. It's, or it's pretty crazy when the vice chairman of the Conservative Party can do things in public that would get one of your pupils thro- oh. thrown out of the classroom. Honestly, James, yeah. that would have, those exact words yeah. would have been repeated to some of our, our children that we've taken in from, from a variety of different countries. Those wow. words would have been repeated. And p- this is what, yeah, it's so difficult. And I'm, I, I, I don't even really know what to say, James, because I've just got my head in my hands. No, don't worry. Well, you've done pretty would... well. You've been, not only have you been very clear, considering that your head's been in your hands throughout this conversation, <laughs> but you've said plenty. You've given serious food for thought. And, and there you go, 30p Lenoch putting words in the mouths of 15-year-olds who will be in classrooms with refugee children.